Flamey, the goddess of flames. I suffered through an Prologue. extremely tragic trauma. Blaze was out taking his evening walk there. He Get ready. Someone pass. else was From at the training years. grounds throwing fire at the range and using golden flames in the CQC room. So Blaze decided to check it out, seeing that he wasn't the only one who uses those flames. Chapter 1. Blaze enters the training grounds and walked up to the goddess and asks hi. I'm Blaze, the god of flames, and I noticed that you are using the same flames I use. Who are you? The girl stops and turns towards him introducing herself saying I'm Flamey, the new goddess of fire, also the first one. Blaze smiles and joins her in training as well as teaching her a few strategies. Chapter 2 The next day, Blaze wakes up from his nightly sleep, stretches, and puts his shirt on. He then makes his breakfast, brushes his teeth, and heads to his gaming room to play Call of Duty for a master. After about two maybe three hours he heard his doorbell ring, so he paused his game and headed to the door while rubbing his eyes to regain playing games games for so long. He opens the door and to his surprise he saw Flamey standing at his door as well as holding a picnic basket and a game controller. Chapter 3 Blaze took notice almost instantly and lets her in. Make yourself at home, there's not much but feel free to do what you want. Blaze states he closed his door and heads back to his gaming room. Flamey follows, Blaze saw what he was playing and she said no way, you have that game? Blaze rubs the back of his head and says yeah, I got it early, wanna play? Flamey's smile widened with excitement and said heck yeah. So Blaze connected her controller and the two played for hours on end. Chapter 4 Flamey pauses the game and heard Blaze's stomach growl, you want to go to the park's fountain and picnic with me? She asked. Blaze blushed and replied sorry, of course I will. So the two get up, stretch, and head to the park. After they arrive at the park, Blaze plays the picnic blanket down and Flamey gets out the food. Blaze noticed that the food was spicy chicken sandwiches and grilled salmon with apple juice along with a snowball making machine with ice and watermelon and tiger blood flavors. Dang Flamey, you really do have my taste in food, lol. Flamey giggles and hugs Blaze before eating. Chapter 5 Blaze blushed but hid it from Flamey, then the two began to eat. Blaze had a sixth sense feeling and threw the flame of incineration right behind Flamey. Surprise, Flamey turned around to see an assassin holding a sacred dagger standing a few feet behind her. Flamey gets up and joins Blaze to beat up the foe, but before they made a move the killer whistles and suddenly the two are surrounded. Want to turn up the heat in here? Blaze asked Flamey. She nodded and the two fought for hours against the gang of assassins. Chapter 6 to the car and After plays on her PSP. Two hours. That feeling the kept on getting stronger and Blaze pushes and his Hill. dislocated arm. Chapter 5 And suddenly we flame break when IT strikes Blaze a and comb poke. That's when it happened. That's when I changed forms for the second time in my life. Blaze the creature's identity is now revealed to me. It's a very powerful demon known as the Dark Stalker. I grabbed it by the neck and it struggled to break free and I snapped it and become captured and threw it at a tree until it got impaled. Out of the blue I was being kissed by Kongpo. After she pulled away she thanked me for saving her. I said you're welcome as I blushed deeply and handed her birthday gift and left. As I walked towards the car I noticed that Jess was jealous of me so I hugged her and gave her some cash to buy a few more games or whatever she wanted. She smiled and forgave me. As I started up the car she asked me how'd you transform into that dragon looking creature back there? I took a deep breath and said mom had the ability to have knowledge of her enemies and threats and dad's half dragon. I was the only one born with their gifts sadly, but when it comes to be time I will give you half of the gifts by blood exchange, but for now let's not talk about today.